Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the file repository in Google Sites to store or upload PowerPoint presentations or other files that you might need to share with your students. So you can go ahead and get logged into Google Sites. As you can see, I'm logged in here. Uh, and I have a couple of sample pages here on the left-hand side, and I'll kind of show you the overview and then uh, tell you how to make each one. Um, one idea might be to create a blank page called Downloads. And on the downloads page, or on any page really, uh, depending on your theme, you'll have a button down here called attachments. And you could certainly add files that way. The other way to do it would be to create a, uh, another page just for PowerPoints that's a file cabinet style page where you could add files and make folders and uh, alert people um, in that method. So either way, um, what you would like to do is start a new page. And from the new page dialog, you have file cabinet or you have you know, a simple web page that you could then add attachments to. I'm going to choose File Cabinet this time, and I'm going to call it Files. And then here I'm going to also put it at the top level of our directory so it's automatically added to the uh, page navigation as well. And then I can create page. Uh, once that page is created, you can see that it's automatically added to the navigation, like I said, and then you have uh, the page title here and then the listing of any files that were automatically uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and click Add File, and you've got a couple options here as to how you can add the file. You can add it from your computer or from another website. I've got one stored on my desktop, so I'm just going to choose Save uh, from your computer, and I'm going to browse to the directory where I have that file saved. Uh, if I can remember what I called it, there it is. Sample. Come on, computer. Uh, it's called Sample Upload. There we go. So we can select that and choose Open. Give it a file description like sample PPT, click upload, and it'll take just a second to upload it to your site, put in some file details, and there you go. Okay, and then um, on the flip side, this is kind of like what your students would see as well. They could either view the PowerPoint and try to open it in Google Docs, or they could download it and obviously then be prompted to uh, download the file. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it on create a page would be to um, create a page again that's at the top level but this time when you're adding files you're going to add them down here under attachments so you can same process hit choose file browse your directory to find the file that you want to upload and take a second just to upload it and then there you go so if we save that page this is then what your students would see is down here under attachments uh, sometimes if you have long content here on your uh, on your page, the attachments might get lost, so the file cabinet idea is is maybe a better route to go. But if you have short content and you wanted to just add a, a single page uh, with some attachments here, maybe a description of what the unit is about, and then the PowerPoint or some uh, worksheets or different things like that, attachments is definitely an easy way to go. If you have a you know a need for a, a giant repository or folders, uh, then you can certainly make folders here and organize your files that way per class or per unit, whatever you find necessary. So if that's helpful, as always, send me an email or a post if you would like to hear more. Thanks.